coming off of Black Ops. We were really energized. The team had done its best work ever, but we knew we could do so much more. With Call of Duty Black Ops 2, the team is pushing the boundaries of Call of Duty on every front providing players with a complete package that offers something for every kind of player. The single player campaign, the multiplayer, and the zombies are our team's most ambitious developments to date. So we decided to take it to 2025, to the near future. The advancements in robotics and drone technology and AI systems are a theme inside of our own fiction as we become more dependent on robotics as opposed to the soldiers in order to enforce military interests around the world. It was very important for it to feel grounded and authentic. All of these kinds of concepts are really great ways that we can take technology from today and apply it to be really amazing gameplay content, which is what you're after when you're making a first-person shooter. We're focusing everything on telling a better story. So motion capture allows us to capture the entire performance. Every breath, every hesitation, every emotion comes through, and this allows our characters to connect better with the players and tell a more mature story. Call of Duty Black Ops took place in the first Cold War. This game, we knew we wanted to conclude the characters that people love to play and that they played with, but we also wanted to make it this epic, generation-spanning story. So in Black Ops 2, as you are progressing through this game and playing through this game, the choices you make and your performance within the game actually dictates what's happening in the story. So you have different hero characters that will live or die. You have this whole war going on where the performance you do on these missions and your skill as you're playing them will actually influence the outcome of this war. This is groundbreaking for the Call of Duty franchise. When you talk about pushing the boundaries on Call of Duty, it means providing a better technology that translates that ambitious fiction and that exciting experience. On the technology side, we started with lighting. Lighting is really the most important thing that you can do for the visual quality of the game. It's that last layer of polish that you put on everything that really brings the entire environment together and makes it feel immersive for players. And that's why we've put a lot of energy into completely overhauling how we do lighting in this game. Call of Duty has always been about the fast, fluid, responsive gameplay. So that's what 60 frames a second is about. It lets players really have control over their character and feel powerful when they play in the game. In Black Ops 2, when you're looking at core gameplay systems, you have to honor where you've been, but you also have to look forward. The multiplayer community is everything to us. We have such an avid fan base. Creative Class is sweet. We've been expanding the content, and we've been playing with the categories. We've been moving these pieces around. You can choose what is the most important things to you and forget about the things that are not that important. This will open up doors for play styles you have not seen. It is going to be fantastic. You're trying to take into account all the various distinct personalities, play styles, attitudes, and making sure that there's something for every one of these players in our game in a way that doesn't conflict with each other and takes the whole game forward. Zombies art is an unlock at the end of World at War and became many people's favorite part of the game. The map is going to be bigger than any map we've ever done. It's about just making it more open for the player, more choices, things to do. It's going to be exciting. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, whether it's the campaign, the multiplayer, or the zombies, Treyarch's going to be breathing new life into the franchise. It's magical stuff, and I think fans of Black Ops are going to love it. When you're making a game like Call of Duty Black Ops 2, you're going to try to pull together the greatest talents you can in the world. People talk about this connection in Hollywood with games. The greatest thing about that for us is that tremendous talent, and they're interested in working in this medium with us, and in particular, on Black Ops. Having the opportunity to work with a Hollywood writer who's worked on movies like The Dark Knight, created the most compelling villains in cinema history. To me, that's amazing. We were approaching it in some ways as a big event movie. Even though it's a first-person shooter, it's got to be sophisticated, it's got to be funny, it's got to be challenging, it's got to have twists and turns. In the case of Black Ops, I would argue that the story is better than most movies that are being made. I'm watching the Oscars last year, and I see Trent Reznor win the Academy Award. A year later, I see him walking around Treyarch, and I think to myself, am I dreaming? Trent Reznor is creating the score for our video game. I look at video games as, as, a, as a true art form. 
the chance to be involved in something like this is exciting to me. You know, I feel it's every bit as um, viable as film work or music or anything else. When you start the game, you're going to hear Trent Reznor's music. It'll automatically immerse you in our world. Increasingly, the line between you know an event movie and an event video game are starting to blur, which is a good thing. I've started to see blockbuster movies rip off sequences from video games as opposed to the other way around. The games have gotten more intense and more realistic and more engrossing and deeper. Video game culture has expanded into you know, the largest form of entertainment. People love to be told stories, but I think what's so unique about our medium is we get the opportunity to experience and live in the world where the stories are being told. You can't watch a movie in a movie theater and change the fate of the main character. Well, you can do that in a video game.